follow YouTube. Uh, I'm doing a basic review and installation on an inexpensive Chinese DRO. Uh, I did some searches, you really couldn't find much on it. So I thought that I would put together a video. Uh, this DRO is manufactured in China from a company called Shen Zen. Ping, Zing Zing Precision. It's a glass scale. It's an economical approach. I'm a hobbyist. I'm not a machinist by trade. Uh, I was looking at DROs and I just didn't really want to spend, you know, a thousand dollars, two thousand dollars. Did a lot of searching and uh, found some that had good reputations that were in the six hundred dollar range. But like I said, uh, I'm not a, I'm a hobbyist. I'm not a professional, so I was looking for something inexpensive. Uh, right across the form on hobby machinists, and they, and there was some positive uh, experience from a couple of you, uh, a couple of people on that form about this, uh, this device. So basically, uh, when I bought this right here, it was $199 shipped to my door. Uh, this particular device right here, I wanted to have, uh, uh, it's going on a lace, I wanted to have a, um, a higher precision on the cross slide. Uh, so I got a one micron unit, uh, which you know, cost me $20 more. These digital scales right here, uh, the company actually makes them. One of the things I did like about it was that I wasn't stuck in those 50 millimeter increments that he had to choose. You could sit there and measure your actual travels to figure out what size you needed. And they made them custom to the length that I needed them to. Uh, so that was nice. Uh, they come standard in 5 microns. You can get them down, down I think, to half micron uh, scale right here. Uh, so I've kind of plugged this in and messed around with it. So the box right here, um, to give you a brief view on it right there, it is plastic, it's not metal. Uh, so, you know, it's 100, uh, I ended up getting 219, this version here, to my doorstep. Um, so it's everything that you know I wanted as far as messing around with this device. Um, I ordered this I think in seven business days. It was shipped out uh, DHL, uh, which left uh, one day and then arrived the very next day in Cincinnati, Ohio. Uh, it came. We shipped in two separate packages. Uh, I got this one here. The uh, the first package, basically, a uh, small package, had this here, power cord, uh, manual, and the mounting arm and stuff right here. Uh, got it. Um, DHL somehow lost the digital scales. Uh, it took me a week to get it. several calls at DHLs. My very first experience uh, with DHL as a carrier. Definitely wasn't a positive experience with DHL. Um, so a general review this kit. Uh, uh, you know I like what I see here. Uh, probably a couple knocks I would have on it is that it's pretty skinny on the hardware. Uh, not much. I didn't have the full hardware to even bolt all this together here, so I picked up some extra pieces. Um, second, probably other knock is the manual. Uh, it's poorly translated from Chinese to English. Uh, some of the stuff I just couldn't figure out is kind of looking at the manual. Uh, the guy that I spoke to at the company directly. Uh, his name was very good. So anytime I uh, emailed him, he was very responsive. 
uh, keep in mind that there is a big diff time difference between China and here. So, uh, and I have another full time job. So basically, if I would in the evening, if I would uh, after I get home from work, I would email him when I woke up the next morning. I always had a response. His English was pretty spot on. Um, so my goal here is to go through here. That's only two negatives. I think I saw that again. It's two nineteen. You know, for six hundred dollars, I could have had something with a lot of hardware and a better translated uh, book. But it is what it is. So my goal is is uh, uh, is to mount this on my lathe, and we'll talk about that, and I'll show that right there. And then as I figure out the functions on here from the book, I'll actually uh, kind of walk us through the functions. Uh, that I how how you can use this since the book's not very clear. Um, have in mind some of these functions here. I, I won't be using them because it is on the lathe. You know, I'm not be drawing a whole whole circle things like that. So I'll show this will be pretty much well kept to uh, using a uh, using this in the lathe function. If I do like this uh, unit, uh, I'll probably go ahead and buy another one from it, which I'll use some of these other functions. Uh, Another thing that I plan on doing is, you know, doing periodic follow-ups just so you guys will know uh, how's this unit you know, holding up at one, two years, and things like that. So, all right. So we're gonna get to mounting the unit. Thanks for watching.